guys welcome back to my channel today I'm just going to be sitting down and talking to you guys and giving an update on how Cassian's transition into part-time daycare has been going um, so as of right now when I'm filming this um, he has been at daycare two weeks already um, but he's only going two days a week um, and the rest of the time, um, either my mom, uh, most of the time, or Will's mom sometimes comes down and helps us watch him. Uh, so it's like a slow transition. So if eventually he goes to um, daycare full time, um, he'll be ready for that as well. But for now, we're just doing the two days and it's been working out really, really well. Um, so we first decided to put him in daycare um, because... Well, first of all, we kind of had to because even though Will and I work from home, um, there's no way that we can watch him while we're working. And my mom has been coming to watch him about three times a week. Um, but the other two times, the other two days, uh, Will's work had this incentive program or something like that that helped us pay for an in-home babysitter. So the cost to us was like $50 a day. So it was so cheap. But that ended at the end of last year. So we had to look into other options for childcare. Um, so I searched around and then I found the one that we are currently going to. And he started about two weeks ago. Um, so I, before he started, I had gone to the facility to tour it. Um, it wasn't really a tour. It was like a vert. Well, let me, let me, let me start over. They offered like a virtual tour bus. They were having like technical difficulties or something. So that didn't happen. But I had to go into the facility to turn in some paperwork anyways. And they let me peek in from the outside what the infant room looked like. And it looked like all the kids were happy um, hanging around. And, and the teacher to student ratio was, uh, I don't know, standard, I think. I think it's like four babies to one teacher. So I felt good about that. Um, everyone at the facility has to wear a mask the whole time. Of course, the babies do not, um, but they take your temperature at the door and they sanitize everything. So I feel pretty good about um, their handling of this situation given what it is. And um, of course, if anything, if there's any outbreak of concerns, they'll let the parents know immediately. So I'm not really concerned about that. So, Let's go back to the first day of school. <laughs> Will and I both um, dropped him off. Um, the, we met the teacher that day. Uh, she came out and like introduced uh, herself to us and we talked a bit. She got to know Cassian a little bit, like his schedule. Um, and then I also wrote it down like how much he eats, um, um, how often, what kinds of foods he's tried, his nap schedule. So I'll, they have all that information. And then um, every day before I take him to daycare, I have to get his bottles ready. He's on formula now, so I have to get three bottles of formula ready, um, pre-mixed, and then label it with his name. They give you like these little stickers that you put their name, date, um, what's in there. So you have to put that on the bottle and the lid, which is kind of a pain. <laughs> But I guess it's just so it doesn't get confused with anyone else's bottle. So I do that. And then as well as I put in like a little baby pouch and some like finger foods, fruits or like a little pasta or cheese, um, cheese bites for Cassian um, for in his lunch bag to for them to feed him throughout the day. Um, they do offer foods and snacks while they're there, but uh, when he went there the first day, they gave him some kind of pea soup or something, and then the teacher said he did not like it, and he did not drink any of it. So she asked us to bring just a little bit uh, of a backup in case he doesn't like the food that's offered there. And then they have a weekly menu, um, but the menu sounds really good. i um, just going to give you a little sample. So today... For a morning snack, they had jelly and biscuits. For lunch, they had um, chicken parmesan penne noodles. And then it had the yeah, spaghetti sauces in there and then pineapple. And then for um, afternoon snack, they had yogurt and cinnamon granola. Um, and then, of course, his bottle feedings, the three bottles are incorporated in there too. And then when he came back today, 
the lunch bag did not have his pouch of baby puree in there so I guess he ate that as well and what I really like about this daycare place is they have this app called Bright Wheels in which they give you updates. Um, it's an app on your phone, so it gives you real-time updates whenever the teacher inputs um, a diaper change, a feeding, a nap, um, or a picture. But yeah, this is like pictures of what they're doing the other day, so that's pretty cool. And also it has a live messaging, uh, just like a messaging function, so you can like talk to your teacher, like pretty much like text the teacher throughout the day, which I do a lot, so I hope she is not annoyed um <laughs> and then they're supposed to be launching this thing where it's a streaming thing that comes to your phone so you can um, constantly check in on your kids and see what they're doing they're supposed to do that this month um haven't heard about it recently and i asked about asked their director about it and she, um she's like brand new i think this is like her first week so she says she'll check up on it so i'm really really excited um to um have that function to just be able to see how cassian does um and like how he interacts with the different kinds of people and little kids because one of the sad parts about this is we don't get to visit him while he's in school or even go into the building at all um so i can't see him playing with the other little kids which would be so cool to see um the other day the teacher sent a little picture of cassian and then the, you can see like a little girl's hand behind him i got so excited just because i know that he's probably playing with other babies and it's just so cute but yeah <laughs> so i think it's been great and then throughout the work day of course we check up on him and still worry about him but it's just been really productive even more so than when the in-home babysitter was here because then we can still hear him cry and fuss sometimes um so now it's been really great um will always takes him to daycare in the morning because he doesn't have to log in to work until 9 and i have to um around 8 30. Uh, but then I go and pick him up every um, evening around 5.30 because Will has to stay until 6. So I go at 5.30. So everything worked out pretty well with the scheduling. Um, and when, sorry, this might be a little all over the place. But when we first dropped him off, he was a little sad um, and like crying immediately when we hand him over. But he's getting a lot better now. Um, and when I pick him up, of course, he's so happy to see me. But the one thing is, he does not nap very much at daycare. I think averages maybe 30 minutes a day. Sometimes he doesn't even nap at all at daycare. <laughs> and that's uh, a little concerning because at home he does two naps throughout the day, uh, totaling three hours. So he's losing a lot of sleep there. Um, so we've been trying to put him to bed a little bit earlier, like 30 30 45 minutes earlier than his normal time when he goes to daycare um just because we can tell he's a little more tired when he comes home um but it's also harder for him to nap at daycare because um there's not a designated napping time or like quiet time because they're babies um so they pretty much when they're sleepy the um the teachers will just put them in their crib but they're still in the same room as the other kids and the lights are still on so there's probably noise um and distractions keeping them up so hopefully with time he'll get used to all those distractions and be able to sleep through it um but i it's not that big of a deal right now because he still seems in a pretty good mood when he comes home um just starts to get cranky a little bit earlier and then we just put him to bed to hopefully make up for some of that time let me see what else oh yeah <laughs> And they do like little arts and crafts sometimes. And this is what he came home with today. Little Cassian's winter colors. I think the teacher just put a bunch of glue across the um, the paper. And then Cassian kind of just helped put these little, little colors on here. And then she sent a picture of him um, while he was in the middle of it. It's so cute. I'm just imagining him putting this together. Definitely a keeper. Well... Anyways, I think, I think that is about it. So uh, we are very happy about 
sending him to daycare. I um, think he's getting some good interactions with other adults and babies. Um, I just feel so bad for all these kids during the pandemic, um, especially older ones like that have friends already because Cassian doesn't know any better. But people that already had relationships uh, is just really, really hard. Um, but hopefully it's a new year. We'll see some um, changes and better progression this year. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you are new here or haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. Alright, thanks guys. Bye!